What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the 2019 Pennzoil 400 review from Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We just had the first race uh, with the new package. Um, I'm not going to really give you my opinion on the full package in the review. Um, I will have a video out tomorrow discussing my opinions on the package. Um, I have some interesting opinions on that package, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. But anyway, let's kind of go through the review. So, first thing, these restarts we had today were insane. Like, they were pretty crazy. And you saw a lot of really insane restarts. Guys getting really close to each other, uh, getting close. You had side-by-side -side racing and even restarts for the first part of this race. And then even at the end of the race, you had some good battles going on. Um, so we'll go start with the pit stops. So first major thing was the pit stops. Um, so first pit stop, Kyle Larson and Austin Dillon both got in trouble for uncontrolled for um, for uh, over the wall too soon. Uh, let me tell you that real stupid. If you put your hands down over the wall, you now get a penalty. Now let me tell you something. Put your hands over the wall. That is fucking stupid as shit. That is honestly stupid. Why do you get a penalty for putting your hand? Over the wall. I get if you're working, that's fine. You can get a penalty for that, but they weren't really working. Come on, NASCAR. That's a stupid rule. It needs to be a black and white rule. Black and white rule. Not a, not a stupid rule that we have. It's like thousands of rules with this stupid rule. Like, oh my god, I can't believe that Larson gets screwed again over a penalty they really should not have gotten. Thanks, NASCAR. I appreciate that. And then we had, and then we, basically after that, we went green all the way. Actually, Ryan Blaney had to come back to pit road because he had to come back in because he had a tire issue. Uh, tire wasn't tight, apparently, possibly, or the tire was going down. And uh, that happened to Blaney. He really never recovered the rest of the day. Um, and in the end, um, Kevin Harvick was able to hold off and go to victory lane. And, not victory lane, sorry. Uh, go to victory in the first in the first stage. In uh, stage two, the restarts got a little bit more intense. You had a longer battle. Uh, Brad Keselowski, uh, he decided to stay to stay out and uh, try to continue to stay out in front. And he held off for a long time, but Joey Logano, who was a contender in this race, a lot of this, he was able to get by and pass him. And then we had another pit stop where a couple guys decided to strategy. Larson had to come in because... He was off strategy, and you had good racing all all around in, in this stage, and you had like a, between Logano and Kyle Busch in this run, this run, these two were battling side by side for like 20 laps. It was incredible. That second stage was honestly phenomenal to watch. If you watch that race, um, that second stage was pretty crazy. You're seeing that's a little bit... Sibonized because there really wasn't any cautions in the first two stages except the stages. But at the end of stage two, Joey Logano was able to get his second stage win. To get the second stage win, and now Kevin Harvick, Kevin Harvick, and uh, Joey Logano have stage wins. Now we get to the final stage, and this is the main stage. Now Kurt Busch, who pitted on the last caution, who pitted 12, I think around 20 laps to go in the stage, he decides to stay out to. Stay up front to keep the strategy going. Now remember, 103 laps to go in the race, so he's going to pit around probably 40 laps in the run to keep the strategy and potentially have the lead as the run goes on. And it works out for a while, but Kevin Harvick is able to uh, pass him. Now, as the run goes on, Kevin Harvick uh, kind of starts to uh, lose ground um, in this race. Um, he... Logano's able to catch Harvick, um, and Logano's able to pass him. And then we have the we have a pit stop that happens after that. And then after the pit, and then after the pit stop, um, we have the field. And Harvick just today oh, could not get off a of pit road at all. He could not get off of the pits today. Like he struggled because I guess he couldn't get off the road because there was like no grip on the track because of the concrete. There was stuff on the the track. Where his pit road was, pit box was, so that made that really, really interesting. And uh, Kevin Harvick got off of pit road in second. He had to go try to go chase down Joey Logano. 
Now, also in this, you have Brad Keselowski, who is trying to go back-to-back -back, um, for the race. Um, trying to go back-to-back -back wins. He won Atlanta the previous week, as if you knew. Um, we're at Vegas trying to go back-to-back -back and get Penske's uh, third straight win at mile and a half. And uh, Keselowski's able to get around uh, Harvick. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is Kyle Busch got a speeding penalty as well in this race. He's coming back up to the front, and he's recovering from a really bad speeding penalty. While he's leading, by the way, he and Logano Ballon, there he comes back, and uh, he's able to recover to fourth, and he's able to get up uh, some more positions up to the front. And it comes down to between, we have a three-car battle coming with 20 laps to go. You have Joey Logano, Brad Kislowski, and Kevin Harvick. All three Fords, by the way. So Ford showing speed again here at Las Vegas. And they're able to get close to each other in battle. Now, in the end, now as the run goes on, this run goes on, Logano's able to pull away. And then at the end of the race, Brad Kislowski tries to close in on Logano. As he gets a little closer, um, Kozlowski loses a little bit of ground, and he gets close. And on the last lap of the race, Kozlowski dives it into the corner, dives it in, and Kozlowski almost gets him, but it's not enough. And Joey Logano wins Penske's third straight race on Mount a Haas, and wins the race as the title sponsor, and wins his, sec and wins his uh, second win last four weeks. Not four weeks, last four races. So two for the last four for Joey Logano because he won a home set last year, which counts going into his statistics. I'm now going to run through the uh, running order of the race so you guys can get a clue. This is something new I'm going to do for each of the views, kind of go through the running order, talk about each of the runs. So Joey Logano won, Brad Keselowski second, Kyle Busch after a speeding penalty recovered to finish third. Excellent recovery. Um, Kevin Harvick fourth. Uh, Kurt Busch finishes fifth. Really good strategy call uh, for Kurt Busch to do what he did. He is able to finish fifth. Uh, Ricky Sanders Jr. six. Really, I would say Ricky Sanders Jr. is the surprise of this this race. He had an excellent run today, and he's able to come home six. Eric Amarola seventh. Mark Trex Jr. eighth. Chase Selling ninth, and Denny Hamill finished tenth. Uh, Chase Selling had okay speed, nothing really special. Truex, um, he seemed to have really good long run speed, but they just struggled at the end of the race. They were never able to recover. Um, Alex Bowman, 11th. Kyle Larson, 12th. Larson got a decent recovery, finished in 12th. That's not a bad recovery, if I say so myself. Especially since he was like a lap down. He never really could get up there. I think he had a top 10 car today. But whatever, Larson. I didn't pick him to win, so there you go. Um... Eric Jones, 13th. I don't know what happened to Eric Jones. He had a top five car early in the race, and he finished 13th. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, Clint Boyer, 14th. Not a factor at all. Um, and a Palminar, 15th. Not a factor either. William Byron, 16th. Daniel Suarez, not a factor in this race. Uh, Chris Buescher, 18th. Jimmy Johnson. He was running in the top 10 a lot of this race. And Austin Dillon, who he, unfortunately, with the penalty, he really never could get up there. And he finishes 20th. 21st, Matt Benedetto. 22nd, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney had a really fast car, but he, uh, his after having a tire issue, he never really could recover and get up there. Um, Daniel Heimer, 23rd. Ryan Newman, 24th. Uh, Ryan Priest, 25th. Bubble Walls, 26th. Corey LaJoy, 27th. Uh, David Reagan, 28th. 29th, Ty Dillon. And 30th, Michael McDowell. 31st, Parker Kligerman, 32nd, Landon Castle, 33rd, Ross Chastain, 34th, Matt Tiff, 35th, Cody Ware, and 36th, Reed Sorensen, 37th, Beach McCod, and 38th, Joey Gase. And that is your, your running, your finishing order of the race. Um, I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to give this race an 8 out of 10. I thought it was a pretty interesting race with the strategy and the good battles. Um, first stage is kind of what lowers it for me. First stage was not the greatest. Second stage was excellent. Stage three was okay too. I give it an eight out of ten. That was a decent race. Um, some are gonna give it worse. Some might give it better. I just give it an eight out of ten because I thought it was decent. I don't think it was great by any means, but I thought it was a decent race. I think it's my. I think you're gonna have some people negative toward it because the package, which I'll get into tomorrow about that. But I thought the race was pretty good. I'm just saying, my opinion. Maybe the package will work. Who knows? Anyhow. 
I want to thank guys. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified, and turn notifications on so you can be notified when a video goes live. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my opinions on this year's Arrow package.